Hey guys, Cal here bringing you another video. This one is going to be a Town Hall 13, not 13, Town Hall 12 versus what I believe to be a Town Hall uh, 12, uh, 13, 14 maybe. Yes, Town Hall 14, two star attack. Uh, I have multiple accounts, but we're just going to do this one right here. Uh, I uploaded a video yesterday, I believe. That was no audio, but I thought maybe I would do audio this time to show you what we're going to be doing. So this is what base we're attacking. To give you an example of a base that we probably wouldn't attack would be something like this. This being that for us to get all the resources, we'd have to wall break here, 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 here. There's just, it, there's too many compartments here. Uh, we have Town Hall in the middle, separated compartment right here has Town Hall. There's just so much things we have to do in order to get through to this base um, that we don't really want to do that. And that's why we're going to be doing this one, because if we look at the base, the only place we need to actually wall break into uh, is right up here. Um, which then we can jump right here to give us access to the town hall. So we can then have our sneaky goblins come in right there. Um, you'll notice that I have a lot of super wall breakers in here. I'm just using a farming army that I use. Uh, no need to get too fancy with it. We're just trying to get the two star percent. Doesn't super matter. Um, this is the army comp we'll be using. I like Invisibility Spell more than Haste, Rage, and all that because I think Invisibility Spell just does what Haste is trying to do and what Rage is trying to do a bit better and you can use it in more situations than the other two spells whereas uh, Haste is just to get something in um, and uh, Rage is just to destroy something faster. The Invisibility Spell will give you more time to destroy things and will give you the protection, the invisibility to dodge the fences to get through. So we're going to attack this base, um, and uh, this is the army. I will say, in my current clan right now, we do not have access to Flame Flinger. If you have access to Flame Flinger, Flame Flinger, Flame Flinger is much better than Wall Wrecker in this situation. Uh, heroes, of course, make things easier, uh, but. If you do not have heroes, uh, you can still do this attack strategy. You probably just don't want to attack a Town Hall 14. Uh, you can probably just attack your mirror or a Town Hall up. I just wanted to show how... Pretty much show the height of what you can do. So I'm going to drop my heroes here. Um, opposite. And I drop the Wall Wrecker. Not Wall Wrecker. Log launcher behind, mostly because what I'm trying to do is get as many, get as much percent as I can that is not a loot bearing structure, just to make it easier on my sneaky goblins, make it so that I don't have to get all the loot. But of course, if I get all the loot, which I will, because this is an easier base, uh, uh, it makes it so I will just get more percent on the end. And if you're in, oh no, if you are in a, a war where percent will of course matter, you'll see right now with the Sneaky Goblins that will be the final loot bearing structure. I'll be able to get easily 70% uh, because essentially one Sneaky Goblin equals one percent. I actually won't even need to drop two there, so we'll drop that, 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 that. We have 13, we're already at over 70 percent. Um, where would we want to go to get more percent here? Uh, we'll just drop two on this wizard tower. Uh, the nice thing about super wall breakers is that they will damage the, t uh, um, the buildings close by. So, I can use that to weaken them, so I only need to use one Sneaky Goblin per defense in some situations, instead of the usual two. Uh, 
and like cases like right here, I can actually just, just drop all of them. They will deal damage to that wizard tower, they will deal damage to that wizard tower, and they will deal damage to that wizard tower and take it out. So, I've uh, had raids, I think in the YouTube video where I didn't say anything. Uh, it was just like, audio. Um, I did indeed use the sneak, uh, super wall breakers to get my final percent. Because uh, we are doing not too hot on that attack. But we still got this two star. Pretty easy base, uh, because the loot was on the outside. If you are going to use this attack strategy, of course, make sure to look where the loot bearing structures are. Um, but even if you have not too many on the outside, if there's a few on the inside, as long as you don't need more than eight wall breaks, you should be able to get the dub, especially if you have a flame flinger. Uh, just because the flame flinger will always hit non loot bearing structures because like imagine if instead of having a wall wrecker or a log launcher coming through here and destroying a lot of this building you just had uh, your heroes let's say take out a mortar right here and then once that mortar is taken out you just drop your flame flinger right here it will destroy this, 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 all uncontested. So then you can drop your heroes elsewhere and get a lot more percent. Um, it's not very important that walls get opened up. Um, it's more important that you get percent through destruction. So that is a Town Hall 12, attacking Town Hall 13 for the two star, or actually attacking Town Hall 14 for the two star. So two Town Halls up. Uh, if you are ever in CWL like we are and completely mismatched, this is my go-to strategy to ensure that we at least get two stars so we're not zero starring um, or one starring. Very good way to get stars. So I hope you guys did enjoy the video and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.